Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to talk about how to make cuts heal faster. Now, honestly, I'm not sure I know of a way to make a cut heal faster than it's naturally going to heal. But there are some important things to do. Most of them involve common sense, but some of them may be a little bit subtle. The most important thing when you have a cut or any disruption of the skin surface is to figure out whether it's going to heal on its own or whether you're going to need some method of putting the skin surface back together to help with healing. There are a couple of ways we do this. Everybody's familiar with sutures, where we actually use a needle and thread to hold the skin together. But more recently, we've seen advances in using uh, super glue, honestly, to, in a sterile fashion to glue the skin surfaces together. There are some places that works well. There are some that it doesn't. So how do you know? Well, a cut that's superficial, just involving the top layers of the skin, is probably going to be fine. But if you can see deep into the cut, if you see muscle tissue, or if you just can't really see to the bottom of it, you probably need to seek care. Likewise, if the cut might be contaminated with some sort of foreign matter that doesn't wash out easily in the sink, or if it looks deep enough that it's not going to wash out, it probably needs to be anesthetized and irrigated thoroughly in a medical office or in an emergency room or urgent care setting. So you want to look at it and see how bad is this. Second of all, if the cut involves the hand or the face, you want to be especially cautious. Lacerations, that's a fancy word for cut, of course, of the hand can affect really critical structures, nerves, bones, joints, tendons, things that, if they're damaged, may never really heal properly. So have great care, even if it's the palm of the hand. If it looks somewhat deep, have somebody get a look at it, because a hand expert, or in the case of the face, a plastic surgeon, may need to be the one who figures out what to do. And a simple everyday cut that obviously is going to heal okay, what do you want to do? You want to clean it off. Now, soap and water is fine for this. If you want to throw some peroxide in there as well, that's great. But the most important thing is good irrigation to get out any particles that may be left over. Second of all, you want to help the body fight off infection and not get infected by using an antibiotic ointment, triple antibiotic ointment, neosporin, polysporin, are among the most common, and these are available over the counter. You want to watch as the cut heals for signs of increasing redness, pus, swelling. Those are all signs of infection. If this thing's starting to hurt more every day or look worse every day or pus is coming out, it's time to see a doctor because those infections can proceed very quickly and they can become very dangerous if they're not treated appropriately. Next, you probably want to bandage the area just to keep it clean and protect it from the outside world and to keep the skin edges close to each other so that you get nice healing. Now, the most obvious way to do this is with a simple over-the-counter Band-Aid. Uh, there are a variety of brands. Some are water-resistant, some are not. Some have a little gel in them. Some incorporate the antibiotic ointment right in the Band-Aid. There's a whole lot of choices these days, but you want to keep it clean, dry, and covered from the outside world. You probably want to pull that Band-Aid off every day or two, make sure the cut's healing well, make sure that there's no infection forming. Now, if you are getting something that doesn't look right, have a doctor get a look at it. Please, again, infection can be dangerous. There may be some foreign body trapped in there that you weren't aware of when you first evaluated the cut, and it may require professional care. Talking about helping a cut heal, I'm Dr. David Hill.